What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Northern Rider and today... What are we doing on this one? <laughs> Actually, I forgot. Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Northern Rider and today we're going to be having a relook over the brand X Dropper Post, the Ascend model, to see how it's been getting on over the past year or so that I've had it. So guys, if you haven't already seen the video on my brand X Dropper Post, the installation video, I'd, yeah, give it a watch. I mean, it's, it's alright. It's more funny than anything really, but... So the most common question I got asked was what size it was and I often had to go back and check because I always kept on forgetting. <laughs> However, I've completely forgotten again this time so I wrote it down so it's pink flamingos by the way. So the bike that I'm actually running this bike on is a Calibre Boss Nut Evo. If you've seen any of my videos then you'll know that that's the bike that I actually ride. The seat diameter is 30.9 and also the total length of the product itself is 410 millimeters. The actual extension length is 120 millimeter. Fucking hell I got that right. God damn! So a little bit of disclosure here, I haven't been paid for this product, I haven't been sent this product or anything like this, I've paid for this out of my own pocket and this is a fully honest review on the actual product itself. So with this product itself, it's actually really changed the way that I ride my bike and it's been an absolute game changer. If you haven't already got a drop a post and you are looking to get one, then this is the next upgrade that you'll need to get. So what we're looking at here is the new updated cabling system. I've got a new lever there, as you can see. Everything seems to be running super, super smooth. It, everything still seems to be really sturdy. I haven't had to do much maintenance on this, if, if any, to be honest with you. It's needed a little bit of cleaning and I put a little bit of lubricant through certain parts just to keep everything being rust free, etc. But to be honest with you, the thing is running super smooth now. So surely there must be some bad points if I came up with it and just said, yeah, it's fantastic, it's all great. So the Calibre Bosnet Evo actually has an internal routed system. So basically when the cable goes through, it was actually catching on the sharp edges and it was really scraping the outer sheath of the cable. And it also, it made it really difficult to push the cable through, so it ended up kinking the cable, unbeknown to me. So the main issue that I had with the product itself was the fact that the cable that came with the product was actually really bad, and it tended to kink a lot, and the outer sheathing of the cable was really weak as well. Anything else with the product itself has been absolutely fantastic. The actual main post has been superb. It hasn't let me down at all. I need to point out that it is actually just the cable, and that's actually been bad on this product. So Chain Reaction Cycles and Brand X. If you're watching this, sort your cables out because it's crap. So because of the cable wearing down and actually causing a few issues with the seat to actually compress and when I sat on it, it was starting to lower down over time, slowly but surely, and you could feel it, You could especially you could feel it in your knees as well when you were starting to kind of compress a little bit more. So this was causing issues and when I started to raise it back up again, it started to kind of drop down ever so slightly, then it got worse and worse and worse. So what I decided to do was to cut out the middleman, just completely strip it out, get a brand new cable, and I ordered a new one from from chain reaction cycles. I got the Brand X Dropper Post cabling system and I set it up with a little bit more knowledge of what was going on with the bike this time and I felt a lot more comfortable installing it. That being said, it's been working absolutely fantastic. I haven't been able to fault it as of yet. So I'm still waiting to see if there's any problems do occur. But at the moment, the whole system is running sweet as a nut. So after the year or so of riding the bike, I've taken it all over the place and I can honestly say that as a general, dropper posts are an absolute game changer. And I would never ever have a trail bike without a dropper post on. I think they're essential for riding in this modern day and age because obviously we're lazy and we can't be bothered to release a screw and then push your seat down. Do you know what? Even, even talking about it is just making us feel tired. <laughs> <laughs> First world problems. So anyways, would I recommend this problem? Absolutely, 100%. Absolute, as I've said before, game changer. Also, I would highly recommend Brand X as well. Only The only thing I would say is that bear in mind that be careful when you're installing the cable system because if you do kink it, it is an absolute pain in the arse. You'll have to get it replaced, all that kind of good stuff. So, yes, it's all good. It's good, it's a good product. I like it, it's really nice. 
So has it been comfortable to ride on? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really ride on it. I ride on the saddle, so. So one other thing that has been mentioned about the Brand X Dropper Post, I don't know if this is specific for the Ascend or not, but the seat on the top does tend to wobble just an ever slight bit. It's not, it, it just the tiniest amount. It doesn't affect the ride at all. And also you do get this with other big brand dropper posts and also like really expensive ones as well. So th this is an issue that is throughout most dropper posts. So don't be put off by people saying it wobbles and things like this. It is actually normal for the bike to do that. Uh, so just don't worry, just save yourself a few pennies. Get yourself a nice bargain. So if you are deciding on buying this dropper post, then what I would recommend is actually holding out until there is a sale on, because sometimes the prices of these drop dramatically down and you can grab yourself a really good bargain. I got mine for under £100, which is really, really cheap for this. And it's usually like a hundred and something, I don't know. I can't remember the price of it, to be honest with you. I think if I keep tracking the price of things that I purchased for my bike, then I'm probably gonna get really upset with myself at some point. So just to recap on this product, overall, fantastic product, good stability with the actual post itself. The only thing that let it down was the actual cabling that tended to be quite weak. And also there's a slight little wobble, which is normal for most dropper posts. So don't worry about that. So if you do have any questions about it that I have covered in this video then drop it down below also don't forget you can check out the video on the dropper post of me installing it and also if you do like this content as well please consider giving it a like it really does actually help the channel out and also if you subscribe as well that means the absolute world to us as well it is fantastic to see so many people subscribing and coming back time and time again and as always guys i'm the northern rider thanks for dropping in and i'll see you in the next one